you get back here right now? Albert! Eat my dust, Tut! That's not funny, Albert! Born in the USA! Hey, kid! Hey, kid! Hey, what the heck? Yeah. Doggone it, Albert! You're not catching me today, Cookie! Yeah. Get the eagle when Will gets out to lunch. Let's just survive the day first. All right, the flyer. We built the ramp in the barn. You're going to kill yourself. It's built like a tank. Now that you are seniors, you are all eligible to participate in the Indiana High School NaNoWriMo competition. You know, the National Novel Writing Month. Where you write a novel? In a month. Excellent. So, the state of Indiana is holding this competition in order to find the best NaNoWriMo project. Now, it is a stiff competition, but the winner gets a $25,000 scholarship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get back to where we left off with Silas Marner. Okay, so where we Dude, left you're going to choke that thing Godfrey to death. Was this is it, Seth. He looked at Epi this is my chance Silas to go to college. Farm. Who needs college? With what we're pulling off after school today, we're going to be famous. No college necessary. Four on the floor, Seth. What? <laughs> Four on the floor. You getting this? On my count. Keep filming already, no matter what. Three, two, one, take off! Let's do this for the Eagles! Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. You know Seth, he's always trying to get on that stupid studs doing stunt show. And you help him? No, I just, I can't talk him out of it. And he can talk you into it. Ori, you know, it's all I can do to put food on the table and pay your dad's debt, and now I have to bail you out of jail? I can pay you back. I can do community service at the nursing home and get paid at the same time. I'm sorry, Mom. I... I promise you won't get another call from Officer Hank. Um, uh, there's a, there's a writing scholarship, uh, it's going on, um, it's worth $25,000. Maury, you are a great writer. Lord knows you have more talent than I ever did. It's a pipe dream, hun. The factory is a for sure thing. Your future is at the factory. I don't, I don't want to work at the factory, Mom. Yeah, and I don't want to wait tables. Pap always said I'd be a writer. Papa worked at the factory too. Mari, look at me. Okay. If anyone in this family can win a scholarship and achieve all of the dreams that God has for you, it's you. Okay? Really? Well, I'm beat, <laughs> and you need to get to bed. You have community service in the morning. Hmm. 
Hmm. First time you boys have been in trouble? Yes, ma'am. It was a moment of youthful foolishness. Hmm. Can you start now? Like now? Now? No time like the present. <laughs> you, come with me to the kitchen. You stay put, I got something special for you. <laughs> That's it? Albert Vernon? None of my team won't go near him. His room's a rat hole with the slight stench. He's been in a towering rage since the last time we called the cops during his last escape. Yeah, third time this year. Whew. You look scrappy. Bring it on, old man. Mr. Vernon, I'm here to clean your room. Was I unclear? Mr. Vernon, I will come in there. All right. I can wait, sir. That's fine. I think the Frau has plenty of work for you. The Frau? You know, beady eyes, lemon loaf, the tyrant. Mr. Vernon, cleaning your room is the one item on my list. I have hours. I have a good book. <laughs> the rest of my life to sit here. Uh, oh, come on, buddy. Oh. You know what? We should really get to know one another. My name's Ori. That's short for Oriole. <sighs> I've lived here in Nantucket all my life. Oh, one of my first memories is, uh, is getting my adenoids taken out when I was four. Uh, oh. Spears shall be shaken, shields shall be splintered. A sword day, a red day, ere the sun rises. Oh, uh, hey, uh, English class, right? Yeah, I just moved here. I'm Bonnie. Ori, I, I'm, I'm Ori. Tolkien? <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just, I, I was, I think he's asleep. Mm. Mr. Vernon, I've brought dinner. Oh. It's chicken Madeira today. <laughs> and there's a yeah. double chocolate brownie for dessert. Uh. No. I'll eat it. Hey, you in a dare, maid boy. Well, these are actually pretty good. Pause of my dessert, and the orderly stays out. If you want dinner, the orderly comes in. I want a fresh brownie. you serve in Vietnam? Huh? I was a war correspondent. A writer? You were on my furniture. Who did you write for? For whom? What? It's for whom did you write? For whom did you write? Odd pieces here and there. I want to be a writer. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. I'll bet you like to write stories, don't you? Yes. I'm sure you wrote yourself as the hero in all of them, but... Well, no, no, I... In all our stories, we think we're the hero, but we're the villains. It's 
the same ending for us all, and the villain gets it in the end. Why do you keep escaping? Oh, really? Elmer said this was the third time this year. It must be something important. You're getting awfully nosy there, maid boy. I just like to be alert for opportunities. You looking to make a deal? You help me with my writing. <laughs> and you help me do some digging. Digging? Mm hmm like, like literal digging? Yeah, literal digging, yeah. Yeah. Now, my family's property comes up to right about here, southwest of the quarry. A long time ago, I buried something valuable back in this area. So we're searching for buried treasure? Oh, take it easy, Captain Hook. It's just a seal safety deposit box. What's inside? Oh, you don't need to know. OK, if I help you, you help me. First, you help me with my writing project. Then, I help you dig. Yeah, where do we start? <laughs>